Hello from Praxis Recruitment. I'm Christina Stewart. Today I want to talk about the proximity bias. Proximity bias means that we give preferential treatment to those who are in our vicinity, to those people that we can actually see. So this is obviously a pretty hot topic right now with work from home environments and uh, wondering if people are going to be coming back to the office and, and, or continuing to stay um, working from home. What it used to mean in a workplace setting, the proximity bi bias, rather not virus, <laughs> bias used to mean, you know, you'd have people who were working in, uh, uh, at HQ and you'd have people who were working in regional satellite offices. And so that is where the proximity uh, bias used to show up. Either that or maybe it was if you worked in Municipal Hall or if you worked out at the Public Works office, right? On the on site of the Public Works building. But now, of course, in our current market, in our current society, what do we see? We see everyone working from home. And so the proximity bias giving preferential treatment to those who are right in front of us has a huge impact to those who are continuing to work from home. They are, um, it means that people are left out of big decisions, but it also means that they're left out of little day-to-day -day interactions on relationship building or getting insights. It can also mean that they're left out of high profile projects, right? And so obviously this can be incredibly detrimental to someone's career in terms of of just expansion of their knowledge, but also in terms of promotions or networking and connecting to others. And so, of course, what do we do about it? Obviously, knowing is half the battle. So really assessing why you're making the decisions that you're making, who you're putting on teams, are you leaving anyone out inadvertently? Remember, this is just our brain taking shortcuts. This is our brain working quickly and seeing people in front of us is how we make those decisions. So we have to be really mindful of those who are not in front of us when it comes to making decisions. So knowing is half the battle. And then the other piece is actually putting some guidelines in place, making a grid, coming up with spreadsheets, who's working on what project, who's done this um, particular piece, who's done that particular piece. Have I actually spent time with all of my direct reports recently? Am I still doing one-on-ones? And taking the time to ensure that you are relationship building, you know, keeping people in the loop on those small little decisions as well as those big, huge, massive ones. So like any other biases that exist, taking steps to actually understanding where yours are is a huge step forward to eliminating them. Thanks for listening today about proximity bias. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and follow the playlist on biases. I will be releasing a new video each month. And of course, please sign up for our Praxis newsletter so that you don't miss any of the juicy bits of the stuff that we talk about month over month. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.